Others are happy to see the lion survive, even if it is under the Brisbane banner. We are the boys from Fitzroy, we Six-year-old David Robinson has lost the love of his life. He's a Fitzroy fanatic, his bedroom a shrine to the club. I just kept on crying and crying. Others expressed their grief by wearing black armbands. Some were just plain angry. I think it's the most disgraceful bit of conspiracy that's ever taken place in the history of sport. There was a last gasp rush for Lions merchandise as players arrived for talks facing an uncertain future. It's very sad for Fitzroy, but, you know, that's, that's uh, the way footy's heading, isn't it? Uncertainty also for cheer squad members. Like with Brisbane, it's always on TV. It's not like actually going to the game and seeing them live. And in Brisbane, former Fitzroy Best and Ferris winner and now Bear, Alistair Lynch, is looking forward to being a Lion again. And here at the club's original home, the Brunswick Street Oval, the Fitzroy Football Club has been nothing but a memory for many years. In fact, tomorrow they'll be playing soccer on this ground. The historic Fitzroy stand, almost as old as the club, nowadays a home for pigeons and a target for arsonists. For many who can remember Fitzroy's Brunswick Street glory days, last night's weekly teams function became awake. And in Perth, the personification of a merger. This couple putting a human face on the new Fitzroy Brisbane Union. Mark Gilly, Seven Nightly News.